All right, thank you, Daniela. Um, yes, uh, this is this is I think going to be one of my new favorites, one of my new go-tos for the summer. Um, I have sort of a, a you know my Achilles heels, like a, a good frozen dessert, like a frozen slush, um, and you know why not use some frozen fruit to get it done? I think it makes it super easy. Um, and uh, you can definitely use other types of fruit. Uh, we're, we're going with melon uh, in this case. And you can, all you really have to do is take some of your melon, you cube it, and then put it in the freezer. Okay. And, and that frozen melon is going to be sort of the body, the base for this slush. Um, if you don't have one on hand, I've even seen frozen bags of watermelon already ready to go. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, uh, but otherwise pretty simple. You know, we have our melon, frozen. So to make this, you can definitely use a blender. Um, I would say if you're using a blender, you're, you're going to need a little bit more liquid. So you might get more into the like smoothie consistency, that smoothie territory versus like, a slush. A slush is uh, you want it a little more icy. Um, so I prefer using a food processor for this recipe, uh, something with a wider base. So that's going to get the consistency that I'm looking for, okay? Uh, to start off, we'll, we'll start with our liquid. Oh, there are muffins. Ready to go, more muffins. Uh, so we're gonna start off with our liquid and spoon. spoon. There we go, we'll use this, no spoon. We're going to use a spatula. <laughs> We're going to be using, obviously for the coconut component, uh, some coconut milk. This is actually a thicker coconut milk, I'm realizing as I'm putting it in. You can use a light one, but if you're looking to add more calories or bump up the calories, definitely go for like a full fat one, or even like the coconut cream will be even thicker. And we're going to add about half a cup to start. If I need more, then I can add more. <clears throat> And I'm assuming it's an unsweetened or I guess, yeah. Yeah, unsweetened coconut milk. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our, our frozen watermelon. About two cups. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry milk. And then some lime juice. The lime juice is going to add a little bit of its, you know, delicious lime flavor, but the acid in the lime juice is a great way to enhance the flavor of watermelon. So we sort of use acid in cooking the same way we use salt. Salt enhances the flavor of whatever you add it to. <clears throat> acid does the same thing. So it really helps when you have a frozen component, like a frozen fruit, even like frozen veg. So I feel like making a smoothie, for example, or using frozen fruit, that acid is really going to help to enhance the flavor of that frozen ingredient. Because that it's cold, that flavor is going to be dull. That acid is going to really help to bring it back to life again. <clears throat> okay. And I, I, That's it. Go ahead, you know, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, um, it's also a great tip because sometimes people um, have trouble with taste changes, right? And so maybe the taste is dull. So knowing that adding the acid, like the lime, um, can help improve that is great. Absolutely. And actually to that point as well. So again, just out of the coconut milk, frozen watermelon and the lime juice, um, you can add uh, if you want a little bit sweeter, you can add a little bit of honey, you can add a little bit of maple syrup. And to your point, if, if you are experiencing taste changes and need that extra little boost of, of flavor, you can definitely do that um, with this. So you can just add as much as you need. Okay, lid on. I'm going to take it for a spin and I will mute myself. <laughs> so off on the spin with the watermelon. So sometimes people might think watermelon is high fiber, but uh, it actually is a lower fiber fruit. So about one cup is about 0.6 grams of fiber. So
So if you're on a low fiber diet, it's okay to use it. High water content. So it's a great choice for this uh, drink. And uh, like I said before, if, if um, dehydration can be common um, when your appetite is low, but also if you're having symptoms of, of diarrhea, you're losing a lot of liquid. Or if nausea or vomiting is your issue, you're losing a lot of liquid. So having this drink also introduces some potassium, which you may be losing, um, some magnesium and some great vitamin A and C. And then you can count it towards your fluid intake when they're asking you, how many cups of fluid did you have today? Did you have your six to eight? You can say, yeah. And one of them was a real cool slushy that I learned at Elixir Kitchen. Looks like it's getting pretty creamy. There we go. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> so you really just want to keep motoring it until it breaks down to this really, really nice. It's almost like a, a light sorbet sort of consistency, um, but the iciness from that watermelon is going to give you this really nice sort of fluffy sort of slushy feel to it. Let me get a glass. Now, I suppose we, we don't have to because we've had some really great protein rich dishes. Um, but I suppose if we wanted to up the protein, we could add a protein powder to it. Yes, like absolutely. Protein powder. Yeah. Protein powder would be very easy, easy, easy to incorporate. <clears throat> or, I mean, if you. You can, instead of the, the coconut milk, you can even use like a higher protein yogurt. Like that would be a very simple yeah. One yeah. swap. Maybe a coconut flavored one. So you can still have that, that summer uh, beachy kind of feel to it. That's a great idea. Okay, so pilot high. The straw uh, might not work because it might be too thick. So I would go with a spoon, but just for the visual. Go with a straw and a nice little lime wedge and three ingredients. But I'm telling you, this is happy summer days for sure. And I know, Daniela, you're not here. I will have to make it again when you yes. kitchen. I, I will enjoy this. Um, but uh, there you have it. That's our watermelon coconut special.